She's like, no, 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 it's bombs. Yoimiya, it's just filled with bombs. Something bad's happened. Some people from the Tinryo Commission came by. Huh? Why? Do they know? Pops, are you all right? They didn't do anything to you, did they? I told them the show was starting soon and the place was filled with fireworks, so they shouldn't go in because it's a fire hazard. Good work. But they didn't listen. Uh-oh. It seemed like they knew Sakujiro was inside. Uh-oh. Luckily, Sakujiro heard them coming in time and managed to escape through the window. The Tinryo Commission wasn't able to capture him. Okay, that's oh, good. This is bad news. I don't think Sakujiro had enough time to make his mind up. Pops, did you see where he went? Oh, the Tenryo Commission will definitely be chasing after him. I know, they are like, open up, we know you're in there. Did you catch their names? Good point. Names, waiting names. Suddenly showing up like this, surely it must be Keisuke's doing. Hmm. The Commission wouldn't normally cause this big of a fuss over a stowaway. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry, my ears are no good. And I didn't get a good look at them either. If you're wondering which way they went, exactly, they left Kuro. the city. I wish I'd caught their names, oh, but I didn't hear a thing. That's As hilarious, Barso. It, it is funny. Klee will lead you around town. I was getting some ore from my friend's place and happened to bump into them on the way over. Uh oh, Morihiko. Their leader's name was Keisuke, just like you said. I knew it. Just as I thought. Yep. Thanks. If Sakujiro still hasn't made up his mind, those two running into each other won't solve anything. And even worse, there'll be no coming back from it for Sakujiro. We can't let that happen. Come with me. Let's track them down. <laughs> I know. There's... Traffic in your way. Would you like Klee to clear the traffic with some bombs? It's Mosasaka and his friends. Let's ask them. Ah, the little kids. What's up, kids? You got any news for us? Hi, Oimiya. Are the weapons to scare away the great Mujina yokai ready yet? What's up, Tiao? Oh, uh, Mr. Ryunosuke is making them right now. You can go collect them from my house later. Uh, aren't you gonna play with us, Oimiya? I'm sorry. I have something important to do right now. I'll be back later on. Oh, okay. But I'll bring you guys some candy next time. The extra sweet candy. The one you guys love. Mmm. Yay! We're gonna get candy! You are gonna get candy, you wow. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, 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 ah. This dance is awesome. Also, I wanted to ask you guys something. Uh, did you see a bunch of scary-looking men come by here at all? We sure did. Yeah, we did. It looks like they were chasing someone. Uh-oh. Are they trying to catch a monster, too? No, don't worry. It's all just a big misunderstanding. Be good kids and stay out of trouble, all right? Stay in the city for now, and I'll come play with you after the fireworks start. Hmm. We will. We'll be on our best behavior, especially for you, Yoimiya. Ah, I see. So, these are the kids again whose parents just let them roam free after dark, and they were almost uh, embroiled in some dangerous activity on the road. We gotta keep these kids safe. It looks like this is the right way. Let's keep going. If Sakuchiro still hasn't made up his mind, I guess I'll have to step in. Look! There are people from the Tenryo Commission over there! Uh oh. Must be them. There they are. I know he did have a whole musical number. That was awesome. All right, let's just strut up to these dudes. Yoshitaka, what do you got going on? Sorry, official business. I can't let you pass. Oh boy. All right, all right. Calm down. Sakujiro and Keisuke are up ahead, right? We need to talk to them about something. Didn't you hear me? You're not getting past. Mm. Ugh, what a nuisance! Well, you've only got yourself to play. Oh, we're going to fight? All right. Oh, I'm playing as her? Okay. I must withdraw. Fire hazard. Fire hazard. I must 
Ultra. We burned him down. Uh oh. Uh, all right. You know what? In a situation like this, I'm just trying her out. See what she's got. Man, she's just... Fireworks Lady is just slowly, you know, knocking down like 20 people right here. Hey, look at the fireworks. That was awesome. Her, her firework ability is sweet. How dare you impede the work of the Tenryo Commission? We impede you the work. Be punished for your actions. Nah. There is nowhere you can escape justice. Not even at the edges of the world. It was kind of strange, Vicky. I, d I did notice that. I like As I was getting swarmed, I was like, do I have any AoE? No, I'm single target. But the firework, the festive reprise, like Schneck, if that's what that ability is called, it looks awesome. Huh. Look at that. The one with the loudest mouth had the fastest feet. We can't waste any more time on these guys. Let's push on. They should be just ahead. Oh my gosh, Bar Soap. Are you talking about in this game? What's up, Chow? That is pretty serious. We gotta protect, we gotta save the children. Oh, here he is. Get off his back. <laughs> Your skills with the sword have stagnated, Sakujiro. You should have known that you stood no chance against me in a duel. I never imagined I'd fall into your hands. Wow, the old friends. They're back. I... <laughs> if this is to be my fate, I accept it. I have nothing else to say. But your return says that you finally came around to my point of view. Whatever you say. You will return with me to the Tenryo Commission to await your sentencing. Man, you gotta calm down. This boat will Kaisuke. also be punished. Wait! It doesn't have to end like this. No. Don't you have anything else to say to one another? Hey, I know you. You're Naganahara's girl. That's right. Who makes the fireworks. <laughs> I know you like to get involved in other people's business, but stay out of this. It does not concern you. It does. It's okay, Yoimiya. The past is the past. Then why did you risk life and limb to get yourself back into Inazuma? And why were you so reluctant to leave after you got here? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you why. This is why. This is the chance you've been waiting for. To talk everything through. I have exactly. nothing to say to him. No, we He's got... a criminal. I work for the Tenryo Commission. There is never any room for discussion. No, there's room. Out of respect for the friendship we once had, I gave him a chance to fight for his freedom. That's not but respect. But his skills with the sword are as disappointing now he as does. they ever were. He's not what here are about you sword play. About? And just who do you think you're kidding? You left all your subordinates back there to guard the road, making sure no one else followed you here. Seems to me like you were hoping for a chance to talk. Yeah, exactly. I can see it in your faces. You both have so much to say. And you're just going to choose to keep it all inside? <laughs> That's a good point, <laughs> Schnecken and Bar, about Klee as a child. Don't flatter yourself. What would you know? We know a lot. Yoimiya, leave it. It was just my wishful thinking. No, I won't leave it. I will not stand by and watch when you haven't even done anything. That's right. Keisuke. You seem to like settling things with a duel, so let's do it your way. I challenge you to a duel. Yeah. If I win, then you need to say everything that's in your heart. No more running from your feelings. And the same goes for you, Sakujiro. If I win, you will tell Keisuke exactly why you came back, no matter what the consequences are. You have to tell him everything. If you don't say anything now, you may never have another chance. Wow, Barso, that's if brutal. You lose, then I'll admit to collaborating with Sakujiro. 
and accept the Tenryo Commission's punishment. <laughs> That's right, Pratsy. She is the negotiator, and I like how she's like, I challenge you to a duel. Now, you'll be standing far away with your sword, and I'll be standing far away with my bow and get shots on you before you even have a chance to approach. Does that sound fair? Yelimiya. I accept. Let's settle this with a duel. Sir, we're here to back you up. Oh, wait a minute. This is not a duel. All right. I mean, if we got to do it this way. We can't let her fight them all alone. Nowhere to hide. I must withdraw. Amateur mistake. Go. <sighs> Incoming. Good. Orders given, orders received. Take flea bombs until you can't anymore. Oh, okay. Let's try her out. Sir, they are too strong. We need more men. We're too strong. Stand down. W what? I thought I told you to stay away. Now stand down. Y yes, sir. Hey, Rabio Morso, what is up, my friend? Yeah, people were talking earlier about uh, wanting lady, Yoi Mia. She's awesome. You were just as obstinate as Sakujiro was back then. That's right. Why were you so convinced that we had things to say to each other? We know that you do. Because Sakujiro may not have told me about you when he came back. But he did order a firework from me. Mm. Then your parents told me about what happened between you when you were younger. Once I'd heard the story, I realized that the firework. Hey, meant pipe dream, what is up? Boat. How's it going, my friend? Good to and see you. I simply refuse to believe that you have nothing to say to each other. You've got things to say. Nobody sets off a firework to feel lonely, do they? That's right. The fireworks say everything. Hmm. The reason I came back is that. <sighs> I felt lost. Mm. It wasn't that I'd changed my mind. I just felt that what I'd done in the past was to try to escape from reality. You have 102 cats in your teapot? That's hilarious. Ravio, I need to, I don't think I have any cats. What's up, Tiao? I saw the freedom of Mondstadt, the contracts of Liyue, the wisdom of Sumeru, and the justice of Fontaine. It all left a deep impression on me. Mm. I was glad that I'd left Inazuma, but then I happened to hear about the Sokoku Decree. Wow. Look in the background at the village on the mountainside there. It's just it's breathtaking. I was an escapee, and I was proud of that. What I should have tried to do is take the good things from the outside world and bring them back home. So that's why you came back? Out of your naive hope of changing the way things are here. No, I let go of all those delusions of grandeur. I just felt that... I never should have run away like that. Hmm. <sighs> After all, you never ran away. Huh? I don't know about you, it but is, life hasn't dream. been easy for me. But I just had to come back and visit. It was like fate was calling me, and I couldn't ignore it any longer. Hmm. Life isn't easy for anyone. I truly worship the Raiden Shogun. Her ideas were my personal creed, and I desired nothing more than to see her will done. But now, my role is to punish violators of the Sakoku Decree and confiscate people's visions. It's not what I signed up for when I joined the Tenryo Commission. Oh, he's like having second thoughts. He's like, I really don't like my job. I have to be a jerk and ruin people's lives by taking their visions. I do wonder. Am I really doing the right thing? 
The What's up, Joe? Huh? I couldn't make you stay in Inazuma, but that doesn't mean I want to keep you here by force. It's true, Barso. Uh, what will you say to the higher ups? Don't worry about that. I'll handle it. If you want to come back, I hear the process of returning to Inazuma from the outside world is long and complicated, but it can be done. I will lend you my help, but until then, you'll have to wait. And don't kick the bucket on the way out. <laughs> don't die. Don't worry, Keisuke. I won't. Any chance we can watch the fireworks together? Wow. Maybe next time. Next time? All right. The boat just departs in inscrutable silence. <sighs> I'll be demoted for sure. Mm. It's not like me to give in to childish sentiment like this. I can't explain why I went through with it. That boat? It's the one that Sakujiro planned on using for his escape. I asked Yoshitaka and the others to transport it here, citing the temporary contraband storage clause. Nice use of the rules. Forcing Sakujiro to this spot was also something I had planned all along. It's just like you said, Yoimiya. Even though I hadn't fully made up my mind, my actions betrayed my intent. Exactly, Schnecken. He's like, I'm, you know, tough as nails on the outside, but inside I've got a heart of gold. But I think you did the right thing. And look, now you've managed to resolve the grievance in your heart by talking about it. I understand now. Thank you. I didn't know you were quite so perceptive. You saw right into what I was thinking. What's going on, Tiao? <laughs> That's only because I know your parents so well. They're both really nice people, so I didn't think the apple would fall too far from the tree. Mm. I had heard there was a new Naganohara running things these days. A little loud and reckless, maybe, but <laughs> you live up to the family name. Mm -hmm. By the way, Naganohara fireworks can reproduce the firework that the two of us set off back then, right? Would you be able to make one for me? You got that right. We know all of our Sorry, fireworks. No can do. Without the slipper reference, I can't make Oh, that's right. Again. I need that slip. And I'm afraid Sakajiro is the one with the slip. That's yep. He just wants to watch custom fireworks with his his bro for sure. Ah, uh, I see. Never mind then. <laughs> Don't get too down just yet, though. I mentioned that Sakujiro ordered a firework from me, didn't I? Yes. I can't make another one, but I'm guessing Sakujiro probably won't be needing his anymore. It'd be a shame for it to go to waste, so I'll make an exception and let you set it off instead. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. No worries. And don't miss out on the start of the fireworks show. All right. He's gone. The way you took command of that whole situation was amazing. What can I say? I like to talk. I'm a strong believer in the power of words. Hmm. If you're not willing to communicate, then the problem just sits there. If you just keep staring at it without doing anything, eventually you'll watch every last opportunity to resolve it slip away before your eyes. That's right. You can't be passive. You got to be active. You got to be proactive. Oh, the traveler gets a firework slip, Schnecken? Sakujiro and Keisuke can't turn back the clock of their relationship, but that's no reason to live with remorse. Mm -hmm. Anyway, follow me. I'll bring you to the perfect place to watch the fireworks. Oh, okay. My pops will set off the firework that I wanted to give to you. Go to a place to watch the fireworks show. All right, over here. Have I explored any of the Inazuma Islands yet, Ravio? That's a good question. I've done um, Amakane Island, I think I went to for the festival, but not like these smaller islands, no. It doesn't look like I got the teleporter on Jinren Island or over here uh, or down here or even gone to this. So, no, I haven't really explored too much yet. Yeah, the larger ones um, I have explored. I got all the teleporters. I've gone to the shrine. Um, I know, Bar Soap, it's pretty funny. I just kind of stand back and let um, Yoimiya talk. And Yoimiya is like, you know, doing all the talking that Paimon would normally do. No time to lose. I, <laughs> I sure do, Schnecken. I got a lot of teleporters to unlock. 
Oh man, I hope it's the fireworks. I've been it's like I've been waiting for these fireworks for so long. All right, let's go up to the top here. Look at these lanterns, uh, you know, lighting up the path with the cherry blossoms falling down. Look how amazing this little spot is. There's these old stairs that are kind of worked into the ground along this beaten path. You go up, there's these food stalls. You can get the, you know, local delicacies. I mean, that watermelon looks incredible. And then we're going to go up this way and check out the fireworks. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's check it out. Yeah, the music is great. Bar soap, I agree. Huh? Oh. There they go. Wow, as he's leaving the island, look at that. Yoimiya and her dad do a pretty good show. Wow. Oh, it's... Oh, is he going to see the custom firework? Kisuke. Yep, there it is. His buddy. <laughs> oh, he's crying. Wow. Wow, this, she's finally not talking. The fireworks make her occupy her full attention. Oh, that was amazing. It was so beautiful I could weep. It was beautiful. Hey, Tiao, what's up, my friend? Uh, I didn't actually cry, though, right? I just feel a bit misty-eyed. Yeah, 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 you didn't cry. Um, it was very pretty. Oh, uh, remember that big one that went up first? I do. The gold one? That's the one I had Pops make for you. Oh, it's our special one. Thank you. Oh, Paimon saw it. It was one of the best ones. They won't forget that anytime soon. She gave soon. us a gold one, because we're kind of gold. <laughs> That's what I wanted to hear. I was hoping it would leave a deep impression on you guys. No matter where your journey takes you, and no matter what hardships might lie ahead, I hope you'll always be able to look back fondly on the fireworks you saw tonight. Me too. I believe that as time goes by, this firework will only grow brighter and more beautiful in your heart. Oh, and also, you're technically my customers now. Here, this is your paper slip. If you ever want to see that golden firework again, just come and see me. Oh, can you come back here and just, like, give it to her and see it anytime you want? I'd do that. Thanks for your kindness. You know, Yoimiya, you seem to turn into a completely different person during Hey, the you got that right, Schnecken. Quiet, and it was like you couldn't hear anything at all. I definitely want some more gold pools. Yeah, see, she, Paimon noticed it. Like, she stopped talking. Oh, she was I quiet. You. I just have a habit of being silent while I'm watching fireworks. Oh, you can't? Quietly watching something you made with your own hands rise into the sky mm. feels like a sacred ceremony to me. What's up, Tiao? You asked me no? what fireworks mean to me, right? Yep. Well, for Koichi, who built the boat for us, and his friend, Third Sis, fireworks commemorate friendship. For Keisuke's parents, they commemorate marriage. And for Keisuke and Sakajiro, they were commemorating... Hmm. Unwavering beliefs, right? Oh, yeah, right, That's right, right. beliefs. As for me, uh... <laughs> To be honest, uh, even though I've thought about it countless times before, I still haven't found an answer. Seriously? Huh. Hyman was expecting something deep and philosophical. Mm. Well, no one's ever asked me this before, so I've never really settled on an answer. It was by chance that I happened to be born into the Naganohara family, so it was by chance that I ended up learning this craft from my pops. It's also by chance that I've met so many people, learned so many things, and discovered that people associate watching fireworks with the things that are most precious to them. Hey, look at my Bankai. What's up, my friend? I agree with you. It's like 
the the traveler comes out and I'm can we just stay as yeah the the character I'm controlling I get it that they do that for the main scenes but it is interesting like um but then again I guess the story has to relate around the traveler but it's awkward it would be pipe dream it's like it would be weird because they're trying to talk about the story for the traveler but it's just it's just a strange disconnect between the fact that we can switch people, but we're not really supposed to be switching people. We're supposed to really just be the traveler. Um, so there's that, you know, kind of schism between the narrative and then the gameplay. Just play the traveler, Vicky. I should. My traveler is really, really underleveled, underpowered. Bye that disappear in a flash of light are probably the furthest thing away from the eternity that our shogun desires. Mm. But people's feelings don't just disappear. And it's those feelings that give fireworks their purpose. If nobody wanted to watch fireworks, then they wouldn't exist. That's another kind of eternity. Also, consider this. You have to have the Naganoharas because so many people are emotionally invested in the existence of fireworks. Hmm. If we didn't exist, their wishes would go unfulfilled, wouldn't they? You I know, guess. I don't really think about complicated things like this very often. But I'm proud that I was born into the Naganohara family and have the chance to make so many pretty fireworks. Hmm. All right, stillness, the sublimation of shadow has been started. I feel like we're making, um, my adventure rank is 35. But we should probably go and see about the next operation that Toma and Ayaka were talking about, right? As usual, it's the first stop, Kamori Tea House. Are you ready to head over? Oh, cool. It's, a, it's a Archon Quest time. This place is pretty dead. By which I mean, there's nothing to kill. Oh, wow, Bar. I like that explanation. So, um... My world level, I think I've ascended the like, raised the world level... I think I'm on world level 2? I could be wrong about that. Let's go fight these guys. I want to talk to them really fast. Speed of light. Rise. How's this? La la la. Oh boy. Got lucky that time with sword from shadow. The fairy. Here we go. Oh, I should be fine for the Archon with my AR and world level. Oh, there's still somebody alive. You're not supposed to be here. Watch out. You're going to get frozen. Yeah, the Shamisen is an awesome battle theme. I agree with you, Schnecken. All right, let's get that chest. Wasn't there something in here a second ago? There sure was something in there. All right, where where do they want us to go? The, the uh, tea house? Oh, I have to select the quest. Okay. Hey, I got lucky with Chi-Chi for sure. I've been lucky this whole time, I swear. All right, let's go start this up. I've been building up to this point, everyone. <laughs> 